Hi, my name is Kim McMillan, and I'm the Director of Youth Ministry at St. Benedict Parish. And I'm here to appeal to your generosity for the 2020 COVID appeal. You might wonder what we've been up to at St. Benedict Parish in the Youth Ministry Department uh, while this has all been going down. So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about some of the things that we've been doing. Beginning in the summer, we were offering Zoom meetings for our young people, especially our seventh and eighth graders and our high school students, so that we could keep touch with each other while everyone was struggling with some of the realities of being home and home without your friends. Um, and we've done a lot, we did a lot of those kinds of visits weekly with our junior high parishioners. Uh, also during the summer, we created a vacation Bible school in collaboration with other parishes in the area so we could still provide an experience of vacation Bible school for our little parishioners. Um, I've had a lot of young people reach out to me looking for ways that they can serve in their community. It's been a little different because they can't really go out to say the common pantry or um, feed my starving children like we used to. But in brainstorming with especially um, two of the young people that reached out to me in brainstorming with them, we were able to come up with ways that they might be able to affect um, the community and serve without necessarily getting going to service sites. So this uh, November, we completed a food drive for the mission of Our Lady of the Angels Parish. And the way that we were able to do this is one of our young people was able to reach out to their neighbors and post a lot of things on social media. And he was instrumental in reaching out to people to get them involved in, in the food drive. And we've had a young person also um, create and uh, reach out for a hat and glove and mitten drive. So we've had young people who are looking for ways to make a difference in light of the fact that they can't serve in the way that they're accustomed. Our young people from high school, our parishioners, took over our Instagram account for several weeks to remind people about inclusivity. And that was a really exciting thing to witness because that was their voices reaching out to their friends to help them remember how important it is for us to be inclusive and welcoming, especially during these times. One of the other ministries that started was Pathways Toward Peace. Pathways Toward Peace was a response to the recognition of injustice and inequality in our world. After viewing the death of George Floyd, I was moved to help create a prayer service for peace and a ministry at St. Benedict's that has spent the last seven months looking at the reality of inequality and racial injustice in our neighborhood, in our community, and in our world. The group started reflecting on with the bishop's documents and have continued to explore how we're called as individuals to respond. We started to recognize that there was a need for um, a ministry for families and how, how to involve families in this conversation. This group of parents that was meeting for the families talk about racism is currently meeting to regularly explore ways we can help our families and help each other create a culture that's more aware. And as we raise awareness, we also try to change some of the ideas that have gone on from generation to generation or some of the behaviors that perpetuate racism. The Families Talk About Racism was instrumental in our Black Lives Matter rally. That was a Saturday morning that the, the parking lot was full of families recognizing that Black Lives Matter and that we need to stand up against racial injustice and racial inequality. There were many guest speakers that day and it culminated with uh, 45 minutes of standing in front of our church with signs and banners, looking for affirmation from the people that passed by way of honking cars, children doing rallies on the church steps and all of us standing together to recognize that black lives matter. So we've been pretty busy during this last year. Um, the work of Christ doesn't take a COVID break reaching out to other people to let them know that um, God is present in our world, um, to lead other people to Christ, to be the light of Christ in the world, that doesn't stop. We know that a lot of families are struggling right now. If that happens to be your family, know that we continue to pray for you. However, if you find that you've been blessed, we're asking you to contribute and support our COVID 2020 appeal. Your gift helps us continue the great work that's happening here every day at St. Benedict Parish.
Thank you.